Okay, so I'm going to show you all how to add cut lines in Silhouette Studio so that you can use your Silhouette Cameo or other device that you have to do print and cut stickers. Oops, I already have it open here. I forgot. Sorry about that. So you want to open up whatever image you want to use onto the page. You're going to go ahead and click on it. You're going to come over here to this star looking thing, whatever you want to call it. It's an offset tool, I guess. If you want an external offset, you're going to do it, the regular offset here. It's going to add the image around it. You can change the the size of it here and then what you'll notice is that like depending on how the size you do it this will go away if I make it larger that little spot right there but if I wanted that small of an outline and those you know I don't want those there then what you can do double click on them click and then you can start to delete it you just hit delete once you click on one of those little squares hit delete and it'll remove it those are called nodes and you can delete any one you want and change the shape of it but you might not want to depending on what you're doing that's how you could modify it and you might actually be able to make it um, look better than it does when it just generates it by itself so as you see you can delete it but then it's going to completely change it you can do custom stuff with it though so say I, I do what I just did there and then I can grab this one and pull it out you know you can change the shape of it that way I'm not doing anything cool or neat here I'm just showing you how you can delete them or even add to manipulate them you can add one there in the middle I just added that one you can do different you know you can move them around change the shape of it basically so I'm gonna back all that out and get it back to the shape that I want that's it there and then once you have that outline you send it over to the cutter you can see here if you're just wanting to make a sticker out of it you're not going to want to cut like in the middle of the A right there you're not going to want to cut around the E you see it outlined every single letter you don't want that so over here on the right where it says simple line or fill you want to click on line and then here this is called the the weld tool or the I don't know it's just the weld option I guess you can click on that and it just does the outline so once you have it like that like whatever this looks like on the display and however you have it set up here is how it's gonna cut it these are your different tools you're not using a number two tool unless you're using that second option that the second blade carrier on the actual uh, cameo so it's always going to be number one and then you want to have it set to whatever depth whatever presets you have here so um, sorry I have to turn on my machine before it's going to show the different options I'll be right back All right, so it's going to load my machine there, and you can see when I have it set to die cut stickers, it's at a blade depth of five. It's going to go two passes, so it's going to go around the outline two different times. And then it's going to use a pressure or force of 33, and it's going to be speed of four. That's die cut, meaning it's going to cut completely through the backing paper and everything. If I wanted to do 
what I refer to is just my laminated stickers. Um, that's just how I have it labeled in here so I can differentiate the two. That's only going to cut through the sticker and the laminate. It's not going to cut through the backing. So you can pull the whole, basically what I would call the matrix off the top, and it's still going to have the backing paper. So you could have a whole sheet of these and cut them all and then just pull the top layer off basically and then have a whole sticker sheet on one page so oops that's the other thing to know here okay so so that that doesn't happen what you want to do is you want to group the outline and the image together you can hit you can click on just one of those either one hit control and A for control all it's going to select everything on the page and group it you know and you want to group it together basically so group it now when you move it it's all going to move together and then you need to add the registration marks on the page I should have told you that from the beginning so you do that by clicking on the page setting over here page setup click on this box on the far right and then you click on for registration marks I always go as wide as I can on the marks it doesn't change the position of the marks it just makes them wider and then that's good for that you want to position this where it's not touching any of that line now I can be up in up in here But this so I control to the right. Now they're touching there, and you don't want them touching, so you want to move it to the right a little bit more. And I can do that with the arrow so that it separates it out. And then I'm gonna hit control all again to select both of these I'm gonna hit control down and I'm gonna hit the let go of control hit the down arrow a few times to separate them so it can cut those two or all those four separate now I'm gonna hit control all again or sorry I don't need to hit control all because it doesn't have enough room for that I'm gonna hit that that one right there I'm gonna hit select and then select the next one I'm gonna hit control down now you can just copy and paste all these but you can use the control with the arrows and move it around Hit control all I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna use this little tool right here and that's gonna center everything in the middle of the page I always like to do that because if something gets offline or something gets messed up I know that I can just put it back in the center of the page and everything sh should be fine. I'm going to save that. I already have one saved right here. That's a different version. So I'm not really going to save it because I don't need to. But you get the idea. These are smaller ones than what I normally print. And that's why I can fit more on this page. So from that point, you can go and send it to the cutter and that's going up here to the far right corner hit send as you can see it has a separate outline for all of them it is kind of close here in the middle you want to look at this preview it is kind of cl close in the middle I think it'd be okay but I'm gonna separate those out a little bit more I don't like how close it is so I'm just gonna hit I'm just gonna like select all of these on the far right and then use the arrow to move them over so I have a bigger separation now I'm going to center all these in the middle of the page again. Go to send. Now it has a good clean outline around all of them. And like I said, if you wanted all those on a sticker sheet together and just like give someone the whole sheet of them, then you can select the settings that I have over here for laminated stickers. It's going to be a depth of three two passes a force of 22 
and you can go to a speed of 50 or sorry five and then once you're ready you just hit send it'll send it to the cutter but that's after you load the media into the uh, into the cutter so I'm sure y'all know how to do that hopefully so far and that's it if you want to do die cut you just make sure it's set to those settings there for die cut then send it you're good to go that should be it um, if you have any questions just feel free to put it in the comments and I will definitely answer thank you please like share subscribe it really helps the algorithm I'm trying to get it to where I can um, get more equipment and show y'all how to do more things the more equipment I get the more tutorials and the more tips I can share the more secrets I can share um, I just want to continue to grow this channel please help me do that Thank you.